Assalamualaikum, saya Nisa. Dalam video ini, um, I will be making breakfast for my family, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it too. Assalamualaikum. So the first recipe I'm going to do is French toast muffins, um, and I'll show you the ingredients, but if you want uh, more specific instruction, you can go on my blog, and I'll include the link in the description. So, the ingredients to the muffins are one and a half cups of flour, half a cup of sugar, um, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, a fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon. The wet ingredients include butter, one third a cup of melted butter, half a cup of milk, and one egg. So I'm going to start mixing the ingredients now. So like most ingredients, you start with the dry ingredients. So you put the flour, the sugar, the baking powder, salt, cinnamon, and nutmeg in the bowl and mix. If you want a less clumpy um, mixture, you can sift the ingredients, but since I'm making this for my family and they want to eat, I'm going to try to make this as quickly as possible. So after you finished mixing the dry ingredients, you're going to get a separate bowl, and in this case I'm going to reuse my flour bowl, and you're going to mix together all the dry, all the wet ingredients. That includes the butter the milk, and the sugar. I mean, the egg. <laughs> okay, so now you, I've got my whisk. You just mix together the ingredients. Um, so, as you can tell, there's, like, tiny little clumps. That's because I didn't, that's because my egg was really cold, because it was just from the fridge. Um, this is, it's not going to affect your final product, but if you want it to look nice while you're making it, you should use, um, an egg that has been out for a while. Yeah, so, so make sure that um, your egg's gonna be at room temperature, and it's not gonna look like this, but it will look fine. Okay, now that I'm done with the wet ingredients, I'm just gonna mix it in with the dry ingredients. Make sure that you get everything out, and mix it. So you're just going to mix this until it is dust combined and your batter will be lumpy so don't worry if there's a lot of clumps. So make sure you don't over mix it or else it's not going to have the right texture. So now that I'm done with this I'm going to go get my muffin tins out. So now that you have your muffin tins that have been greased before you mixed so that it's ready by the time you're done mixing, I'm going to use my ice cream scoop to scoop the mix the batter evenly into the muffin tins. Okay, so in the recipe on my blog I made tiny mini muffins but right now since it's just for my family I'm gonna make 12 big muffins and I'm going to go put it in my oven, which I have preheated to 350 degrees. Okay, so after about 25 minutes have passed, I have taken the, um, the muffins out of the oven, and this is what they look like. So... I'm going to let them cool for about 5 to 10 minutes, and then I'm going to show you what I dip them in, and then you'll see the final product. 
So now that the muffins have done, have uh, finished cooling, I have taken them out of the tins and put them on a plate with waxed paper. And I've also prepared one cup of sugar mixed with two teaspoons of cinnamon and one cup of butter. Melted butter. So to uh, finish off sh um, our muffins, we're gonna start by dipping the muffin. Either you could dip either the top or the whole muffin in the melted butter. And in this case, I'm gonna just dip the whole muffin in. And then do the same with the sugar. until it's wrapped in a blanket of cinnamon sugary goodness. And if you don't want it to be too sweet, you don't have to put the whole muffin in this mix. And then you just put it on a plate. And you repeat with the rest of your muffins. Okay, so now that I've finished dipping all the muffins in the butter and the sugar, this is the final product. And um, I made about 12 servings, and you might have made less or more, but if you have extra butter or sugar like I do, then you could just dip it while you're eating. Now that I've finished with the muffins, I'm going to move on to making um, smoked salmon with scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. 